Now, quick update. I mean, okay, no information about Kai and Sa, I just a key suspect. I'm um, the key suspect in making sure and executing the plan to kill the late Professor Yabene, who happens to be the University of Ghana Law Senior Letra. Key suspect Menoka saying he has died in the hospital. Now in Samniba and Aebi Bri. First of all, let me start off with this moment. Just a few months ago, and a airport ride on this particular platform said one of the senior lecturers of the University of Ghana, Legon, Professor Yao Bene, he has been killed. And he was he has actually died. But you can't pay fast we are not a muya rem kakra because it's not just like any other day say we are yare and now course now we will know this one uh panel you buni pruni because for some days near and tin come co buni pruni na he he was lying there in cold blood I was sure the manner and state he was in I had to chin in sa akunichi ya de ahoma any cloth at china no any a day in to my asini num and I'll share any three whom would you need there then I'll share a diner and now do my in the bedroom now you can clearly see that there were struggles the bed has shifted the paintings and everything were down the sculptures were cracked which means there was a struggle leading to his death in the band is on a police forecast and no uh just on the look of the scenario you know it's it clearly shows that this was a first uh high crime murder and as a high crime murder first time murder I don't know how to put put it, but the first class made that just say uh, when they've actually succeeded in killing the man. It's a one of police for a DC or one who said they are going to do investigation and actually crack the hip on this particular uh, the people who actually committed this heinous crime. So they started an investigation quickly. You know, we saw them arresting people, the houseboy, the gardener, the people who used to cook for the uh, the late professor, and even people around him. They arrested about eight people at the end of the day near the Omoko court. You know, he died about five. They granted five bills. Like three of them, you no, know, and uh, they, they, they were actually three of them were remanded in the police custody. Yeah. The main aim, according to the police, was, was that they actually sense that these people have a hand or they know a clue uh, into the death of this particular late professor. Yeah, in the Emuna, one guy, and now a cleaner. Uh, one guy, no, a cleaner, only oh, yeah, professor Bene cleaner. I friend James Nana Womba. James Nana Womba. He started he broke in tears whilst the police were interrogating him and he said he can't take this any longer because uh, I didn't know why he knew who said yeah, and he needs to confess his crime and his sins. Uncle Bina, no, no, indeed, your beckon. All that he went ahead to say was uh, he actually uh, masterminded the, the, the death of this particular man. man, man. He actually mastermind the death of this particular prolific uh, yeah, law lecturer and he actually brought the pieces and the puzzles together to execute this particular innocent man. Narrating the scene, also the main idea of him actually doing this was not to kill Professor Bene. They just went inside or they just planned to take his money and take his phone and run away. But they, they, on the faithful day, almost told me a few one. According to him, no, they were ab- able to secure a spare key now to a, a spare key to Professor Bennett's bedroom. And that spare key, you know, it was not made available to him or no sacred. And but as a Professor Bennett, the see for it be other people, it be a for an answer, be a cook, and be be sir, and be see see or aha. So Professor Bennett didn't give him full consent to use the room, but he got the key, opened the room, and attacked the man. Now, Tin Sema, a year guy, yeah, we were kind of patches say he actually teamed up with certain people to execute this. It was they were stealing Professor Ben and they were asking for phones and money. He was resistant, he didn't, he, he didn't want to comply. It's a Muna, uh, they actually said, Seba Panon, Peso Ben Compo, Peso Edit, Jomufa, Iron Ross, Nombi Shinity, a Hona, the man collapsed and he tied his hands, uh, put cloth around his mouth so much. I know the cloth, I said, a whole lot of torture. This torture was bad. And at the end of the day, they succeeded in getting his phone, his money, and they left. So days after, I'm able to know that the man was actually dead, lying in cold blood. So this was how the man, uh, this particular James, and I back, confessed to the crime, confessed to the crime, said uh, he actually masterminded the crime. So he had to 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 the crime. So the court proceedings have been going on and the charges have been piling up. One of the main reasons which came out from this case was the fact that uh, this particular James and one, but he didn't execute this alone. He had accomplices. This accomplice is known. One is on the run. I believe say, the other one on the run, on the iron rust, no, even though this particular James and one actually aided in the death of this man. So
So the police actually secure the court around to go and arrest the person. I mean, who can say in Yache? Another person who uh, is in connection with this crime. But the sad news about can he is sent an opawi air patch. Say, a year Saturday, yeah, October 16th, and a James Tana Womba he passed away from the hospital. Now this is the account which is coming in. According to the Ghana Police Service, the Omo Patch said during all of this time, and now uh, this particular James Tana Womba he was standing crime. He was standing for trial at the courts. Uh, going up and down and home fan he was very 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 sick but then as the law demands he still needs to actually go in front of the the, the, the court and actually uh, give his plea and account to the story so at the end of the day they can know how to go about the case it because now obi can one panel is on the run so he was going but along the way in home he are random but yet i mean they call hospital but at the hospital you know, they tried everything possible and he didn't survive our more patches even uh, before his death you no know, and uh, the last days of this particular young man, a James Nana Womban, he was living on oxygen. Now, he had to mean just oxygen in events later, be money, a year, what do you call it, a coronavirus or not? But Oshe in some banner, it clearly depicts a new coronavirus. But he was living on oxygen now, he was very, very sick. I didn't see be a vision and full be, and I will be in a tent here just say, even if you are quick, we will open your dish, ain't now ho. MAO M Beko Jill and Sam Baba Debi. You pray to God so our God will take you off. Mingas will be cool, but this could be any prayers or any juju, anything. Aha. But whichever the way, you know, be so like you said, the man's ghost is alive because of the torture that he went through before he died. And the man uh spirit on the man's whatever is actually fighting for vengeance. So currently this is what is going on, and they say a year I was in part is a uh the two persons are normal standing try and they were scheduled to reappear uh before court but we know because information uh be kind of just said this particular James Nana Womba he is dead. Now one particular thing we all need to uh, we all need to note here is that they are there are charges, uh, the, the state have dropped charges against three other persons as LMD can say they believe said they were part. But then they've got another key suspect as our key suspect, you know, he was on the run. He was on the run as any pay, you know, uh, information at Mesaka Ewa has a friend of Pambo Ejabedu. That is his name. He was one of the key suspects. Utin said, "Member say officers of the Ghana Police Service have effected the arrest of one of, of one of Pambo Ijabedu, who prosecutors describe as a named accomplice of James Nana Womba." So, we share the, 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 the sorry, the, the, the case in as much as it's ongoing, and the police are taking a hit and, and making a turn into actually arresting the the, the, the main accomplice. You no, know, they've actually got. The, the, the main accomplice have actually got one of the lead people who they believe say uh, executed this crime. Perhaps he actually uh, gave the 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 the, the, the go ahead and I don't know far that they know iron rods in the shape of page chima pano. One can just for us as you see a very gruesome and heinous crime that everybody uh, who actually is involved in this needs to be taken down. They, they need to actually jail the person. The person need to face the the full. Um, account on a rigor and a vigor of the law whichever way we put it so currently that is what is going on uh, we are poised to giving you all the latest updates in regards to this case for some time now no, there's been a high level of insecurity in our beloved country ghana and then we've seen that in terms of mps being murdered people being attacked first now a uh, just the layman and an eye attack you i'm robbing with you come say i'm robbing a stormy if he broad late broad daylight yeah could shoot you a man for and when of the when all of these things happen the police will come there take account we will not hear anything about it but now it's like the the ties are turning against those in power and the ties are turning against those who have influence in the society and these have actually made the police uh giving the uh, Put the police on their toes and now you are seeing some effectiveness but the question is it shouldn't just be about law letters it shouldn't just be about mps it shouldn't just be about ministers it should also be about the layman because each and every human being life counts and it's so sad say, this is so share infant man mp now they're arresting people they've got the main suspect why is it that these things happen to laymen arm robbers attack people on the highway nothing is being done as i said they don't track these arm robbers down they make it seem like a normal case and hey arm robbers are isha more kwan so it's mufuwa jimuska a normal case but in reality you know when it happened to an mp they've been able to track the people i sure there's some clear disparage uh i don't know how to put it 
discrimination here in terms of who to serve and who but at the end of the day the police are doing their best we urge them to do uh, the best in tracking down these criminals to make ghana a safer place they can't do all they can do some but then they need to do most and now more of them so okay this is the update abeka and so we are doing well and now uh, in our full shape and vigorous power to make sure that we give you all the latest updates in regards to this particular case thank you thank you say thanks thank you so much for watching